Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Tinted Butter Balms. I picked up all the shades. I heard that these are really good. I also sort of tested it out. I put one on one day and so I don't really have a lot of memory on how it worked out. But the shades looked really pretty and also Kylie Cosmetics right now is doing like site-wide 40% off or up to 40% off. So I feel like this is the perfect time to show you guys these. If you are new here, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap the bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos and let's get right into these lippies. Um, so... I have to say, like, I know a lot of people don't like the brand as a whole, and I and I get that, but I have to say, pretty much, I think there was one or two palettes a few years ago, or collections that I wasn't that, that keen on, but like lately, everything that I've tried from the brand has been really, really good. Her little palettes, there was like a mauve one, and another one, those worked really beautifully, so... As of like the last couple of years, I've been pretty happy with the few things I have picked up for the brand, from the brand. So let's get right into some swatches of all of these. There are one, two, three, four, five, six shades. Um, these do retail for $18 and they are available on her website and then also Ulta Beauty. I'm not sure if Ulta has them on sale or not. I will link them down below um, either way. Let's get my lip stick up. I wish I could kind of put on liner. Um, but I kind of also want to test this out. Okay. So where are the shade names on these? Oh my goodness. It's so small. All right. We're going to start out with 808, which is supposed to be a pink nude shade. And here is what they look like. The packaging is a little bit, uh, you know, I want to say chintzy. It's like that whole, like, their whole brand, like the KKW, Kylie, Makeup by Mar, they all kind of like look, I want to say it's chintzy, but it's not like luxe. It definitely doesn't feel luxe, but it's cute. It's cute packaging. All right, so this is the shade Kylie, and I am just going to swatch it. These are very buttery. Oh my goodness, right there. Like I... Okay, so the claims to fame are that it's hydrating for 12 hours, great color payoff, buttery smooth, lip care formula, instantly softens dry lips, glossy lip balm with a shiny finish, buildable formula, lightweight and comfortable wear, clean, vegan, and cruelty free. Um, it does not contain animal oils, parabens, or gluten, along with a list, long list of... 1600 other potentially harm okay that's a lot of information a hoba oil is also ingredient the key ingredient to lock in moisture so again this is the shade kylie and there's definitely some luminosity there Ooh. It's kind of giving me like, I don't know, actually, this is a very unique, it's more buttery than a normal balm, like than the Pat McGrath balms, um, than a lot of other balms, but it's also very opaque, definitely buildable, like I went a little bit overboard, really, really smooth very smooth on the lips. I really like this shade too. I'm trying to think like I don't have, I was gonna say the uh, Makeup by Mario like glow sticks, but this is not as balmy as those. This is just like a really nice formula. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. I, I really... I don't think I have experienced a lip formula like this before. It's actually quite unique, which I, I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be 
just like every other balm, but it's it's not. It, I don't think I've really had anything like this in my collection so far. So again, that's the shade Kylie. It, it is a little bit messy. I will have to gripe about that. It is definitely messy. I would suggest wearing like a, a lip pencil with these um, because I can see where they would get everywhere. And also like they do kind of gather around the edge. Again, there, there could be better packaging. Um, and then like this is not something you would want to leave out in the hot sun. But it's definitely not as like balmy. It's, it's a thicker, I would have to say it's like a hybrid between a lipstick and a balm. But it's not as balmy as like the Tarte Maracuja lip plumps or the Makeup by Mario Plump Glow sticks. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, next we have 338, which is Pink Me Up at eight, which is supposed to be a baby pink shade. These are just too, <laughs> too buttery to swatch on the hand, honestly. They're getting everywhere. Oh, that is pretty. That is like right up my alley. I love a good baby pink. I actually was looking for like a baby pink um, because my Glossier I was, they were out of for like ever. I think they're back in stock now. Um, so I Googled it and a lot came up on this. And I was like, you know what? So I went to Ulta and I checked them out. And then I was like, I really like all of these shades. I can't decide. So I got them all. <gasps> and the rest is history. So this is Pink Me Up at 8. Really, really love this shade. Okay, next we have She's Lovely, which is supposed to be a taupish brown shade. And this is 619. She's Lovely. Ooh, I like this shade too. That's what I mean. I, I couldn't decide like in store. I was like, I like a lot of these shades. I did not think they were going to be this opaque though. And I have to say they are actually like really, really buttery and beautiful on the lips. Like, so beautiful. I do think like a liner would really do these justice, but I don't want to use the liner because I want to show like the true shade of all of these for you guys. Oh my gosh. This is She's Lovely. And she is lovely. Like, I can't get enough of that. I feel like it goes with the... I look today really well, too. All right, let me tr try to swatch that. Okay, so Kylie pinked me up at eight, and then she's lovely. I kind of feel like this is, like, the perfect Thanksgiving, like, fall shade right here, too. They're so buttery and smooth. Like it doesn't even hurt my lips taking them off. They're super hydrating as well. Okay, next up we have Love That For You. And this is 726. It's like a peachy nudish color. Oh, I love this shade too. This is love that for you. Oh my god. I do love this for me. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Again, love that for you. Okay, next we have 211, which is supposed to be like a burnt rose, and it's called That's Tea. I wouldn't, I don't know. They said they're buildable. I mean, they're pretty opaque off the, the bat, so...
This is supposed to be like a burnt rose. This is That's Tea. One thing I'm not a fan of with these is like once you click it up, you can't, it, they don't go back down. So you basically have to use it. Um, so don't click it up too much. If you get these, do not click it up too much because it will not go back down. All right, that's tea. Okay, and now last but not least, we have the deepest shade 420 which is moving on and it's supposed to be like a yeah a blue red shade it just kind of looks blue to, or red to me but yeah I, I don't think this is I want to describe this as a blue red it just kind of looks like a regular red to me it is more like a brick red to me honestly I need to be careful with this one because if this goes everywhere, we're in trouble. <laughs> All right, you guys. So uh, these far exceeded my expectations this is not my favorite shade so i am going to take this off um i'm i really really like these i i think i will probably run out of them very soon like i just the 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 quality and the butteriness is just so good that like they just go right down on the stick so i just feel like these are so multi-purpose they're super hydrating so you can wear them during the winter time but then they also have like the color of a lipstick and they're super shiny and moisturizing. Like they really do feel like butter on the lips. I definitely suggest getting one of these, especially right now because she's got her sale going on. Like they are beautiful. They are so beautiful. So I'm sure you guessed which one I went back in with. That picked me up at eight. Shocker, I know. But which one of these was you guys' favorite shade? I feel like... They're so pigmented. They're just, it, they're really pretty. I mean, you could wear these in the summer, in the winter, but like they're so hydrating that like I just wanna like, keep, like I just wanna have them on my lips. They're very, very hydrating. And the fact that they actually look like a beautiful lipstick and they're so buttery and so hydrating. Like I think she nailed it out of the park with this formula. Where are these made? I wasn't able to. They are made in Korea. Yep. You know that it's going to be good if it's made in Korea. It's, um, and then it's 0 0.08 ounces, it looks like. 2.4 grams. They're made in Korea. They're beautiful. They're freaking beautiful. All right, you guys. Don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see next. Which one of these is your favorite shade? Um, do you like this sort of lippy or are you more like a matte? Spill it down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye.